class of 2024, I'm Amanda Fagan, the principal of Ledyard High School, and I'm thrilled to welcome you as future colonels. I'm not only the principal of Ledyard High School, but also a proud graduate of the class of 1994, which makes me feel pretty old when I think about meeting you. We know that this spring has been very unusual with staying home for the closure and missing some of the key milestones, including your eighth grade information night. We're still holding out hope to bring you back for a freshman orientation shortly before school begins, but just in case we're not able to do that, we're creating for you a few videos this week to help introduce you to some of the people and places you'll meet when you're here. So come with me inside to meet a few of the key players. Welcome to the main lobby. Let's head into the main office and meet some of our friends, Mrs. Hepburn and Mrs. Campo. Come on in. Hi, I'm Mrs. Hepburn. Um, this is my office. I am the secretary to the principal, Mrs. Fagan. So you would likely see me helping. And if you need to schedule an appointment with her, I'm the person you would come to or start a club or anything else that you could think of. I can definitely help you and point you in the right direction. Hi, I'm Mrs. Campo and I work in the main office. I'm the purchasing secretary. I handle all of the student activity accounts and you would come to me if you need a cash box for a fundraiser that you're doing or if you need to answer the phone. I also help with the counter or anything that you may need. Just come on in and ask and we're here for you. So who we're missing today is Mrs. Brennan. She's enjoying a sunny vacation in Maine at this time, but she sits right here at the desk. She's who would buzz you in the front door if you're arriving late to school, would accept drop-offs from your parents if you've forgotten something, and would help you out if you get called to the office. She's the one you'd check in with. So this is the main office. Now let's head for guidance. And here we are in the guidance office. If you walked right in the front doors of the building, you'd see the main office in front of you. If you turn left, you walk down this hallway, the 300s, and your first right is here into the guidance office. So let's go in and meet the folks who work there. It's kind of a multiple room suite, and if you go to the left, you enter the Career Center where you could meet Mrs. Schwenk. Welcome, freshman class of 2024. You will see a lot of me as the years go on, helping you decide what you want to do after you leave Ledger High School. See you soon. Awesome. Mrs. Schwenk is also our junior class advisor and helps us to organize all sorts of events. Here in the guidance office, the first face you'll probably see is Mrs. Adams. Hi, welcome. And over to the right is Mrs. Lobianco. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Lobianco. Please feel free to stop in guidance anytime. We'll help you with any questions you have, okay? They sure will. These ladies are always ready and keen to help. You come right into the guidance office and they'll get you set up with an appointment to meet your counselor. So let's meet those counselors. First up on the left, Mrs. Duchinsky. Hi, how are you? Like Mrs. Fagan said, I'm Mrs. Duchinsky. I have letters P, so we go by last name. So I have last name letters P and S through Z. And I also have the phonetic spelling of my last name on there for you. It's Duchinsky. You may also see me around school. Um, first of all, in the hallways, I love to say hi, see how your day is going, what you've been up to. Um, and you might see me at a volleyball game where I volunteer as an assistant volleyball coach. And I also help out with the More Than Words group here at the high school, which is a youth in action group. Uh, I would love to see you there. It's great to get involved and I'm excited for you to join our Colonel community. Can't wait to meet you. All right, so that was Mrs. Duchinsky. The next door down takes us to Mrs. Matthew. Oh, are you figuring out how to paint? I am. Hi. Welcome. That's Mrs. Matthew. She has the beginning of our alphabet, Mrs. Matthew. All right, moving down to the next door, we meet Mrs. Topa. Hi everybody, uh, Mrs. Topa, as Mrs. Fagan just said, and I have letters D, F, G, H, J, and Q. Um, so welcome class of 2024. Um, you might also see me in the hallway. I just wanted to say hi to everyone. My door is always open, so please feel free to come on in or email us if you have any questions or concerns. Um, and I also help coordinate the AP program here at the high school and the SAT and PSAT program. So good luck next year. Awesome, that's Mrs. Topa. Mrs. Topa. <laughs> right across the hallway from Mrs. Topa 
is Mrs. Kane. Hey guys, I'm Mrs. Kane, and you can see here I have letters L, M, N, and R. Um, I also run uh, the JSA club here. I'm an advisor, and I'm so excited to get to know you all. The most important thing you need to know is when you come see me, I always have sweets right here for you to bribe you to come and talk to me. So please stop by and make an appointment just to get to know me, and I want to get to know you. So good luck. Awesome. That is Mrs. Kane. Right next door to Mrs. Kane is Mrs. Anderson, our school social worker. She's not here today, but not because she doesn't like you. She loves to spend time with students, getting to know folks. She also coordinates our homeless students and is a great resource for families. Our final stop is Mr. Doyle, our Director of Guidance. Hello. I work with IKO and I'm really looking forward to meeting you all. Um, uh, we'll be a school counselor here at the high school. I'm also the Director of Guidance here. Um, at the high school. So really looking forward to working with all of you. Awesome. And so that, ladies and gentlemen, is a look at our guidance department. And the guidance suite itself connects through into the main office and right across from Mr. Doyle's office is where you can find me. So that's the folks who work in guidance. Now I'm going to take you to meet our librarian, Mrs. Smith. Hi everyone, my name is Mrs. Smith. I am your library media specialist at Ledyard High School. I'm filming this in my house because the high school library is currently being used as Chromebook Cleaning Central and I don't want you to see that mess. So I'll pop pictures around me so you can see images from the library. So the library, the physical library, is located at the end of the 300s hall, the opposite side from the cafeteria, and across from the auditorium entrance. We are a really large, air-conditioned space where you'll come to work with your classes for research. You may come down independently from study or from a class with a pass from the teacher, um, or maybe at, for part of your lunch block just to chill out or to do some work. The library is so much more than books, and I hope you guys all know that by now. We have computers, we have Chromebooks, we have copiers, we have printers, we have GoPros, we have 360 cameras, we have digital cameras, we have VR equipment, we have podcasting equipment. We have an entire room for media, um, that's a media studio for you guys to use with a green screen in it and professional lighting. Um, I'm really excited to show you that. We are also a virtual space. So you'll see that we have a LibGuide is what we call it, and that's where we host all of our databases, tutorials, guides for specific classes with resources that you'll need, um, and just some fun stuff, for summer reading, um, social media from all the teachers and coaches at the high school. So I'd encourage you to take a look at that over the summer. Do not get overwhelmed. It is a lot, but we'll go through it all together. I'm really looking forward to seeing you all. If you have any questions in the meantime, you can email me. You can always at school pop in, email. Uh, we are your hub for all your information, research, and technology needs. So we are here for you. We can't wait to see you and have a great summer. All right, now that we've met our librarian, Mrs. Smith, I'm gonna take you back down to the main entrance of the school where instead of turning left, we'll go straight and visit the APO, or the Assistant Principal's Office, to introduce you to Mr. Turner and Mr. Bunicor. All right, so let's head into the Assistant Principal's Office here to meet our two Assistant Principals. Hey, Colonels. I'm Mr. Bunicor. I'm one of your Assistant Principals. I also serve as your school's Athletic Director. I look forward to seeing you all in August. And hi, Colonels. I'm Mr. Turner, the other assistant principal. I'm very much looking forward to seeing you guys at New Story New Orientation and uh, start of the school year in late August. Take care. So there they are, our two assistant principals. They're here to help. They are great resources. And now I'd like to introduce you to some of our outgoing seniors who have a few words of advice to you as you enter the high school. Hi, guys. I'm Lilia, and welcome to Ledger High School. In these upcoming four years, you have a lot to look forward to, and I've got some advice that will help you make the most out of your time. I quickly learned as an out-of-town freshman the importance of getting involved. Between music, sports, class office, and academics, I learned over the years time management, leadership, and organization, 
all while being able to meet new people and develop new friendships. Being involved is extremely important and beneficial, but make sure grades are always a priority because if you have poor grades, then you won't be able to participate in these extracurriculars. Time in high school flies by quickly, so make sure you're always putting in your best effort, working hard, and cherishing all the moments you can. I wish you all the best of luck. Hi class of 2024, my name is Michaela Finkelstein and if there's one piece of advice I could give to you, it would be to get involved. It is so important and you have so many opportunities to get involved at Ledger, both in school and outside of school. In school, I just say get diverse with the classes that you pick outside of, you know, your core classes. We have a music program, we have agricultural program, we have arts classes, drawing, foods. So I really recommend trying something new because that's how you're going to meet new friends, new people, and find a new interest of your own. And outside of school, we have sports, councils, clubs, you know, join key club, join music council. You get to contribute not only back to a specific program, but just get to volunteer and do things that might not even have to do with high school. And sports is another great way to get involved. So I really, really recommend you try something new. What's up, class 2024? My advice to you is to get out there. Try new things, try a new sport, try a new club, anything. You may not know you like it, but then you try it and you're gonna love it. Don't be afraid, just get out there, try new things, it could change your life. All right, have a good year. Hey, class of 2024, it's Tajaya Winston here, class of 2020, and I'm here to give you a few tips. My number one tip is to get involved. There is something for everybody, whether that be a sports team or a club, and that has really helped me during high school, you know, make friends and kind of stay out there. There's clubs and a sports team for everybody. So just look around, keep your options open and you will find something for you. If you are worried about the club or your sports team taking up too much of your time and not being able to complete any schoolwork, I am here to tell you that that is false and you should be able to manage it. As long as you keep a planner and you write down your practice times and when you have club work or work for school, you should be able to manage it. Also, if um, an athletic practice will interfere with some of your schoolwork, let your coach know ahead of time. They will be more than happy to accommodate the practice for you and try to figure out a better plan. Because remember, you guys are students before athletes, but be sure to get involved. Thank you. Hello and welcome to Ledger High School. My name is Ben Askew and I'm a senior graduating with the class of 2020. My uh, advice to you all is to embrace high school uh, to its fullest extent. Uh, do as many things as you can. I, throughout my four years, I was in choir, I, I did drama, I was in the musicals, uh, I played football and I ran track, um, and those were all so much fun. I, I wouldn't change anything that I did in the past four years. Um, freshman year, academics are gonna be the most important thing. It's gonna set the uh, your GPA for the next four years. After freshman year, it's really hard to change that. Um, and get to know your guidance counselor. They're gonna be really crucial to uh, your college uh, selection process. They're gonna be the ones who write your recommendations, so get to know them. Hey everyone, I'm Miss Malavazos. I teach English here at the high school and I'm also the freshman class advisor. One of the first things you're gonna do is choose your freshman class officers that represent your class and get ready for your very first spirit week here at the high school. I also advise the Colonel newspaper and journalism class. So both things that you might want to think about joining here at the high school. I'm really excited to meet you in the fall and I hope you have a really great summer. Bye freshmen. Some welcoming advice from some of our graduating seniors and a little bit of the first step of orientation to our building and some of the people who are here each day to work with you. Stay tuned for the rest of the week as we share information with you about agri-science, athletics, the arts, and more. And know that we are absolutely positively looking forward to meeting you in person in late August. Thank you.